hello again, welcome back. Back into Subnautica. I went ahead and uh, loaded the game so we don't have to worry about that. Looks like we were in the uh, Aurora, so I guess we're done. I'm hoping we're done. Head back to the uh, Seamoth and uh, deposit our stuff. I don't think we need to go back in there. I can't remember. It's been so long. We'll make our way out to the uh, Seamoth anyway. I think uh, we filled it up. Let's see. Where's the... No? Hmm. Let's see if we can uh, access the uh, upgrades. Thought we had Huh, so we didn't get the, uh, there is one. Thought we had gotten, um, a, uh, upgrade module for, um, storage. So I guess I'll head back in then, since if that's something we didn't get, we definitely want to get that. I do have some space. Alright, heading back in. Here we go. I know we've done everything else in here as far as um, opening things and scanning and getting all the data we can except for the, the uh, captain's quarters because we don't have the uh, access codes for that. I know if you had the uh, codes or knew the codes you could cheat and open it early but uh, we're playing the game pretty vanilla and straightforward. I don't know where everything is, and, uh, oops, not trying to, uh, cheat and get things early and just speed run the game, just trying to have fun with it. Alright, that one is empty. That one is not empty. Yep, there it is, there's our storage container, update, upgrade, um, let me grab this titanium. I guess I could put these in here and then give us space for two of these posters. Hello, Kay. Welcome. I'm alright. Thank you for asking. How are you today? Let's see. What else could we get rid of? Hmm. I guess I could eat and that give us room for another poster. really don't want to come back is the thing. Eh, we'll get rid of some titanium. That way we can get these. Don't need them, but they're nice to uh, have for our habitat. Glad you're alright, my friend. Alright, go through here. Oh, up and over. And head back. We'll just leave that other stuff. We have an unlimited supply of uh, health packs from the uh, survival escape pod. Then we can uh, put that upgrade module in and empty some of our uh, inventory into the uh, Seamoth. Let's run out of here. Alrighty, now let's access this. Upgrades. And pop that in. Did I drop that? I bet I did. What happened to it? I think I dropped it. That's gonna be a problem. Because I think it disappears almost instantly.
Awesome. That's great work. I know it's not easy to do. Yep, I don't know. I think I did drop it, so that sucks, because we lost a free uh, storage mod, which could come in um, really handy, since I don't think you can get access to it until you get the vehicle uh, modification station for the moon ghoul. Push the wrong button. right there. Ha! Huh, nice. Well, that makes my life uh, less stressful. Let's see. Oh, that, that. I like it when it's sitting right there. Get rid of all that. That way, as we head back, we have uh, the opportunity to pick up some more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, as far as uh, anything I played? No, I just played some uh, Dark Souls. I wasn't playing any of the story stuff. Um, our, our main character, I should say. I was just wanting to play around with the um, Pyromancer, and I didn't really like it. The fireballs are kind of lobbed, and it's, it's just, I didn't like the way they uh, worked. So I, uh, changed over to a sorcerer and I think I like that one better because the uh, way the uh, magic works is kind of like a magic missile or something it's a uh, direct and it'll kind of follow the enemies depending on what they're doing really shouldn't be doing that this close to the uh, leviathan over there Yeah, I, I had decided if I ever do play anything, um, I wouldn't play any of the story stuff. Like, if I decided to play Final Fantasy or something, I'd start a new campaign or something. That way you don't miss anything, because you were here with me the whole time, so no, I don't want you to miss anything. Yeah, indeed. The, uh, the difference, too, is... Um, Pyromancer's fireballs are more powerful, so they can overkill um, all the enemies I've run across. I don't, yeah, I don't have enough spots for that. Um, we can make this work. There we go. I think that's all we can uh, afford to get right now. But the, um, I forget what it was called. Sorceress spell, whatever it is, I can't remember. Um, it's a directed attack, and you can shoot it long range, so you can lock on to enemies from like outside of their aggro area and uh, shoot them and kill them. Yeah, fire bars are slower, and they don't travel as far, so you have to get closer to get them close to you. And then they're not as accurate either. Because I had one where I was locked on, the guy wasn't moving. It would have hit him, but for whatever reason, it just keep, kept missing. So, I think if I was going to play it, I'd probably go with a sorcerer, unless I learned the um, intricacies of how to uh, pyromancer fireball. I think the um, sorcerer could also take out the uh, Dark Knight a lot easier than uh, a warrior. Probably a power master too if you could get him in a G spot like uh, I've done before. Almost back to our escape pod. There's our... Uh, Moon pool and our little habitat. Welcome aboard, Captain. So 
so I'm thinking I should uh, probably move that over here or something. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking about trying to do the cleric as well, but I think clerics are mostly just uh, healing. So, probably not worth doing. Alright, let us decorate our moon pool. Ha. More co op things? Uh, yeah, I don't think we have anything here. We could do that, but I don't think we need the repulsor cannon. I like the propulsion cannon because it'll bring things to us. Don't need that because we already have a tank that's equal to that. We could use this, but we don't have. Uh, enamel glass I don't think that would make a difference and then we would need some rubies and more plasti steel which is titanium ingots and uh, lithium yeah oh yes yeah, right I saw that radio message this is life pod 7 coordinates attached pod is structurally sound but the fabricators bust requesting assistance Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date event. Yeah, I think, yeah, you, there's like a healing spell that you can do. Like regain or something like that. Which is slowly and constantly gives you a health return. Alright, that gives us at least one titanium ingot. I don't think we have anything in here. Let's see. Oh, I would be wrong. We do. Oh, that's right. We can pull this out now. And, uh, oops, wrong button. Change this out for that. So that we'll swap items. Because we don't need the um, radiation suit, I don't think, anymore. Pretty good with food since we got those extra uh, nutrient blocks, which are worth 75. Tons of water. I guess I'll put that in there because I don't really need it. Grab another of these. Yeah, they are miracles. It's, it's similar, but not the same because it's based off of your fate. Worse, um, the others, I think, is based off of your intelligence. I think I, I leveled up my intelligence with the um, sorcerer and got some extra damage. I was wondering if you if that worked or not. I didn't know how the uh, damage pools worked. That's lead. We need lithium. That would be enough right there to be another titanium ingot. There's some lithium. Um, what else? We need an enamel glass, so we need to, um, some stalker teeth. I don't think I have any of those. Nope. That's battery charger. We don't really need to worry about that anymore since we have so many batteries. Alright, let's make us at least a another titanium ingot and at least one um, plastic steel. Ah, okay. I still think I like the um, the warrior route myself, personally. You have to get closer to the enemies and stuff, but... Go ahead and throw these in here, since we don't need them. And this... some of this water that way we can have some more space in our personal inventory 
See if we can't clean out the uh, sea moth here. Keep calm. Wrong side. Oh, it's more challenging, so I chose the uh, challenging uh, route. Alright, empty out this. There we go. Um, yeah, let's throw that in there. That'll give us some extra space. Might have to uh, build another um, storage cabinet. I think we're running out of space here, yep. I don't know if I have any crystal. Yeah, there were some. Alright. Pull out the habitat builder. Oh, I must have stored it somewhere. There it is. I guess I can grab this out as well. Indeed, that is true. Ooh, it already uh, gave us the tool. Let's see. Storage is here. Locker. Um, I don't know if I can get it here or not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it would allow me to uh, place it here. Alright, let's see how close we can get it to the wall. That way we can have space to walk through and get to the other cabinet. Nope. Push too hard. I keep doing it. There we go. Alright. Yep. We should be fine. Cool. Alright. Now we can drop off all this stuff. Alright, all these are 100%, so let's go ahead and change our batteries out. Oops, wrong button. What else is low? That's at 100, that's 88, that's at 40. So we'll grab these two as well. I don't think I have any more fresh batteries. Nope. That's okay. Start charging these. Oh wow. I guess if you have the uh, best uh, units for the uh, task, that makes sense. Alright. I'll grab one more extra battery. And fix this flashlight's power. There we go. Throw that one in there since we can't charge it. Um, go ahead and drink one of these. Nice. Um, what is that beacon for? I, I can't remember. Climb up. We'll throw the um, sea glide into the storage. It's not taking up our spaces either. I think we'll see if we can't find us some um, uh, stalker teeth now, since we need the enameled glass. So down into the uh, kelp forests. See if we can find some. Uh, metal salvage that way they can bite it and try to lose a tooth might have to head to uh, one of the other places I've been to before that had metal salvage and bring it back over here because I've been cleaning up Ooh. there's some metal salvage down here don't see any teeth though. Alright, that one looked like 
Pocket was going to bite it, but he didn't. Nope. Alright, let's grab these two pieces then. See if we can find a place that's, uh, oops. Better, su oh, there's three pieces here. Better suited for, uh, more stalkers that we maybe can get a higher chance of getting a tea. Okay, wow. All right, let's go ahead, since uh, I haven't saved it in recently, let's go ahead and save that. Pause that, let it save without hopefully having any issues without the game playing. That way it's only concentrating on doing one thing at a time. Ah, huh, wow. <laughs> Alright, cool. Game did save for us. Nice. No more worries about that, hopefully. Probably should grab some more of that, um, seed pods as well. Oop, more metal salvage there. see any many stalkers over here so I might have to find me another area in the for this forest or find another kelp forest there's another piece of salvage here yeah I figured you'd use Cecilia man I miss playing the game I played a little bit of it on uh, the new uh, load that I had because it didn't has I didn't, I don't have access to my save um so just to play some of it I got I forget his name the guy with the uh, firearms he's a defender uh, attacks on a skip oh some more metal salvage I don't know where all the stalkers are this is kind of uh, disturbing. I hope I don't have a uh, corrupted save. There's one. Or was that one? Ah, yes. Yeah, I'm not too good with the names. <laughs> Where are all our stalkers? This is, yeah, very upsetting. Because, um... Without them, we get no teeth, and we cannot continue with the game. I know this has happened before. I think they had an update to fix it. Sounds like we have a sound glitch, maybe. Alright, let's see. Where are we at in relation to everything else? All right, let's head over to uh, behind the aurora, or near the behind of the aurora. You're definitely better at it than I am, as far as remembering the uh, names and stuff. But yeah, I know there's a uh, kelp forest over to the uh, this side of the uh, close to the aurora. Definitely see life around. I see some peepers and there's um I hate when that happens. That always bugs me. Alright, here's another kelp forest. There's more uh, metal salvage. Now can we find some stalkers? I thought I saw one. Yep, there's some. There's ton well not tons, but two here anyway. No, I haven't killed any. Alright, two is better than none. Um, 
I see three now. All right, cool. Do they have any metal salvage over here? There's a piece right there. All right, let's get out and start dropping it. That way they'll have tons of metal salvage to bite and hopefully increase our chances of uh, getting the teeth we need for our enameled glass. Go ahead and eat and drink. Oh, he's trying to bite me. You leave me alone, I leave you alone, right? There, one over there. Still don't hear any hear any teeth. There might be some hidden somewhere that I can't see. I've uh, had the had to use the uh, scanner room to find them before. didn't realize it and there was a whole ton of them like sitting right near the base I heard a tooth there's a couple of teeth there's one you can hear it when it comes off of their uh, out of their mouth or whatever the only problem is actually locating it if it's uh, hidden or falls in the weird spot because it kind of rolls down and yep there's one down there nice we can scan it there's another one right there too all right now go ahead and hit up the sea moth get our oxygen back all right make one more s Quick look around and see if we can find any more. That usually means they're coming after you when you hear that noise. Alright, I don't see any more, but that's okay. We'll grab a couple of these for some more. Um, either silken rubber or the uh, lubricant for engines. I might if I can uh, get the uh... all right we'll grab that oh, I hate those things but if we can get the uh... dang it Anyway, get the outdoor grow beds, um, start growing these things. That way we can um, have um, closer to the base and not have to worry about going and trying to find it. You can also do that with like the um, the mushrooms, the, uh, what do you call it, those, I forget what the thing they're called. Um, little uh, gel sacks, that's what it is. And the uh, blood um, oil thing. Alright, can't do anything here, that's right. I, gotta, I think I really want to move that and reattach it in here. Just because it's uh, so inconvenient to have to swim over here to drop off things and whatnot. I think I'll grab the salt out. And uh, maybe make some more salted fish. I know we have tons of these um, bars, and they're worth a lot of uh, food, but we can't make them. Ah, yes, it's something like that. A bird trapped into the. Uh, Hmm. Skate pod. Let's see. Grab our fishies. 
forgot to grab uh, the glass, so we'll head back in, grab the glass. Nope. Where did I put it? There's one piece here. Thought I had more than that. I might be misremembering. I know we need this. I think we need this. I'm trying to remember what I need for the uh, upgrade. Grab that. That would make one more piece of glass. I think you need two enameled glass for the uh, upgrade. I like that it makes different sounds when you pick up this stuff. Yep. Alright, nope, didn't want to cook them. Wanted to cure them. That way they uh, last forever. Grab that so it'll stop chirping at us and we'll have another um, first aid kit. Alright. Now, the question is do I make the depth charge or the depth um, module or do I? start working on making either the cyclops or the prawn suit. Nope, can't make that because I need arrow gel. That takes a gel sack and ruby. We do have diamonds, we have enamel, yeah, so we could do that but we would still need the uh, gel sack and I don't, I don't know where to get those. Yeah, I might have to uh, do that. Um, destroy this completely, put the uh, storage in there, and maybe maybe attach it, uh, you know, facing this way, or put it on the other side, but yeah, I just, I don't like having it separate like this. I'll leave it up to you if you decide uh, I should do that off stream or on stream, but I'm definitely thinking about doing that. I can't think of anything else I would need for the um, mod. So let's go grab it and see what we can do. Off stream. Alright, sounds good. I can do that. Um, I think we need to pull this. Well, I know we need to pull it out because we need the Mark 1 in order to get to the Mark 2. Because you're modifying it. So I do not have everything I need. Oh, the magnetite. Have I not found any magnetite? I can't remember. Yeah, I can understand that. I guess I haven't found any. Lithium. Nope. Looks like I have not. Well, let's put everything back then. I missed a poster. Um, I, I know where that's located, kind of. We can definitely go look and see. Alright, let's put this poster up as well. We can go beside Kitty Cat. It's like a prawn suit fighting with some marines. I don't know what they're fighting though. Ah, uh, yes, we need to put the depth back in module. Um, We have everything, all the tools we need. Oh, I should drink. And we will uh, go ahead to find where the uh, magnetite is. Welcome aboard, 
Let's see if we can help ourselves. Alright, let's change our beacon's color to yellow. Turn that back on. So, yeah, we don't... That one be the closest one, I think, to it. Is the 100 meters near a cave. I know it's in a cave in the... Um, I guess the red um, seaweed or red in the sandy area. I guess, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe like seagrass. Here. There's some more uh, stuff. You can find tons of quartz over here. So if you uh ever looking for it, this is a good spot to come find it. Here we are. One of these caves down The only problem is I don't think this 300 meters is deep enough to actually fully explore this area. But you can get really close. And then you can find the magnetite out here or down here. And then there's also um, a habitat from one of the other people. Ooh, see I hate when that happens. Let's hang out here for a second. There's a piece right there, I believe. Could be, uh... Nope, that's magnetite. I thought it could have been uh, lithium as well. Oops. There we go. Now we have everything we need. So I think what I'm going to do is head out of here and go back. Because I think that's all we need for the uh, upgrade. Let's check it and see. Yep. Two. Yep. Okay, so we'll go back and do that. That way we can fully explore this because I think it gets us down to 500. And I think this area goes down to maybe 400. And anything below our maximum depth will start hurting the uh, sea moth and it can crush it because it's basically crushed depth. Um, I guess we'll make our way slowly back and find some more quartz and. Maybe some metal salvage. That way it's not a completely wasted trip. But I think it's best to do that and get the um, full exploration of that area. Get all the magnetite I might need and everything. And of course you need tons of quartz for the um, different vehicles and you'll need tons of titanium as well especially the ingots for plastisteel and everything and piece over here I know if we go um, back down there and fully explore that area We'll get the uh, special room. I forget what it's called. But you can uh, use it to build the um, different uh, reactors. Nuclear reactor, bioreactor. You can also get the, I think, the water filtration system there. So you can get free water. And uh, salt from uh, basically desalinating the uh, ocean water it takes a ton of power so you definitely want to build you a uh, bioreactor or a nuclear reactor if you have the uh, nuclear uh, rods for it which we don't because we haven't found any uh, uranium light or something whatever it's called here Alright, walk off, 
go over here to our uh, pod grab the uh, stuff we needed which was this I believe make sure oops just one in minimal glass okay well that makes uh, life easy I guess we'll throw these in here as well Now we have our magnetite and we can make our depth module mark two. Yay, now we can go to 500 like I said I believe. Yeah, you can see because it's nighttime, we don't um, get our power back. And as you can also see, it's only worth uh, up to 150. So with the other, I think you get 500 power or something like that. It's it's a lot more, and as long as it's got um, fuel, whatever. It you're using as fuel it'll uh, continue to provide power and recharge all right let's take us a little break and save again I'll take that opportunity to get me something to drink as well okay out of the games coming out coming up soon which one would you prefer to see if I were to have the money to buy it brand new and uh, get it as the, the day it came out all right now we can head back to this one It doesn't matter any system. I mean, well, not PC because I don't have a good enough PC for that yet. But uh, I know like uh, Doom Eternal's coming out, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake's coming out, Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out. Um, so there's a ton of games coming out really soon. I was just wondering if there was a specific game you might want to see if I were to have the money to be able to buy it like the day it came out okay <laughs> cool alright now we can uh, not have to worry about going too deep but we do have to worry about things spawning in like that oh, and potentially crushing us and or destroying our vehicle but yeah I was just wondering if there was a specific game you might want to see um, me stream because I might be able to ah awesome yeah you got me beat on that uh, you watched me uh, play uh, Doom Eternal, not Doom Eternal, Doom, the 2016 release. Learn about these things. Oh, I didn't think you would. <laughs> oh, I guess we've already scanned that. Um, let's see, flashlight. More magnetite. Nope, that's lithium. So you can get lithium down here as well just sitting in the raw yep see what everything's up got going on and everything get the uh, weapons and swords and whatnot and kill some demons more uh, 
shale for diamonds, gold, and uh, lithium. Alright, let's continue exploring. Like she said, there is a uh, habitat in here somewhere. Oh, more shell there. Definitely want to grab everything we can. This, if we don't have to, it'd be. Oh, nice, another diamond. We don't want to have to come back here. I guess I should drink some more water. You see that the uh, the food bar, nutrient bar, is very um, good because we haven't had to eat in quite some time because it over overfills your food. Sadly, you cannot do that with your water. I guess every time we're in the water, we are. Oh, there's some uh, something shell and uh, I don't know probably nothing on that little platform but that means we're getting close oh there's a PDA Signal location uploaded for PDA. so it tells us where the uh, something is there it is it's 250 so we could have potentially been okay with the uh, 300 meters Oh yes, my well, my plan is to eventually have a wall because uh, they all are uh, games I would love to uh, have and play. The only problem is I got so many games that I don't play or haven't played that I own. Like I had a uh, few gifts from Christmas. Like I got the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. Oop, a bunch of. Uh, I think those are oculars or oculuses or something like that. All right, here's a uh, another little platform base thing. Park right here. Hopefully, nothing will eat us. A first aid kit. Not really worth anything. I don't think there's a PDA in here. Something's trying to get us. Kind of glitched out. There we go. Back to full health. Not moving anywhere. Um, is that? Nope. That's life part 12. Where do we need to go? That's the second officer. There's the habitat we're trying to find. Kind of reluctant to get out and grab these things. I see some magnetite and a couple of shell pieces. Definitely going to though. Nope, that was lithium. More diamond is always nice because that will give us the ability if we ever do pick up the uh, drill arm accessory. We can make a drill arm and drill some uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, should I put my knife on? I think I'll put my knife on. And we'll put the repair tool on. Well, there goes the knife. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a knife, scanner, repair tool, and flashlight. Those are the key. Alright, make our way towards that now. There's a um, volcanic vent. I think that's where you can get the, um, the rubies is from those. I 
wonder if I shouldn't do that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and access this. Throw in everything we can. Grab out the uh, propulsion cannon. And the uh, sea glide. back into the CMA and we'll put the uh, propulsion cannon on that way we can um, if we see any uh, rubies down there we can grab them without getting hurt hopefully we can see the temperature is huge yeah I don't see any rubies sadly we were taking a wee bit of damage from the heat Yeah, I I, uh, I had to look that up to see what that was all about. I think it's called Snuggly. The biter fish ain't that uh, ocular or whatever it is. Yeah, this is the way we need to go. Yeah, it looks like the 300 meter one would have been fine. I was paranoid and didn't want to uh, risk it. There's a uh, magnetite. Um, yeah, we just got bit. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah, more magnetite we could drill if we had the um, prawn suit and the drill arm. Gold. So tons of uh, stuff. I should be grabbing some of this stuff, but I want to get to the uh, habitat area and get the uh, scanning. Because I know there's a ton of stuff to scan over there. More lithium, I believe. Yeah, his gear is pretty cool. Um. Yep, there's a uh, data pad over here. Glad I changed my helmet over. That's cool. I don't know if you can get it in the uh, first game. I wouldn't know, like I said, because I have not played it and haven't gotten that far into it. Alright, there should be some parts out here, yep, we can scan. Scan the uh, stinger. The stasis rifle? Nice. I think that's the second piece we've scanned. Nope, that'd be the first. I thought we had scanned it before. Here's the multi-purpose room. Oh, that's the wild planner. We'll scan that too. There we go. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I like him too much. There we go. Uh, power cell charger. So that'll give us the ability to recharge the... Uh, power cells for the um, sea moth if there's another piece somewhere that's the thermal plant yeah so that way if we get uh, somewhere that has high thermal we can use that to uh, get power that way yeah Nuclear reactor fragment. 
that's one you can put inside of the uh, multi-purpose room. Here's the uh, water filtration system. Hope that doesn't mean they're coming after me. Okay, good. Maybe this will be the last piece of the station rifle. Yes, so now we can build that if we want. All right, head back to the moth. Guess we'll make our way closer to this. I think that thing. No, that's just a support. I thought it was a light. Maybe it is a light. Let's find out. Yep, it is a spotlight. Data pad over here. Make our way carefully in here so we don't get stung and poisoned. Grab that data pad. Getting tons of data. Oh, I think they just bit my uh, sea moth. So I'm gonna head back out there and uh, repair it. Yep. All right, let's get it closer here. Maybe it'll not get bit again. Go ahead and drink our last big bottle of water, and we'll eat some food. Get out and get back in here. I don't think there's anything we can scan in here. No data. Go under this, hopefully. Nothing over there. Oh, there's a um, data box. High capacity, ultra high capacity. Yes, that's the one I was hoping to get. Double oh, poison. Hopefully it'll go away. Yeah, usually you get your health back pretty fast if you get out of the poison. All right, and go up in this. I think there's one more data pad. Oh, that's the observatory. I forgot. Another data pad. That's the stalker teeth. I guess that's where they learned it. Um, I think that's everything in here. Definitely gonna go back and see about making that ultra high capacity. Uh, yep, it got bit again. Yeah, it's just you gotta have the uh, humanity. You gotta be what, not a hollowed or whatever you are, and then um, have the proper thing to summon. Yep, human. All right, let's save it again, and then we'll um, head back up to the uh, base that we have going, and. Uh, I think I'll look at and see about making the uh, ultra high capacity uh, tank. Hurry up and wait for the game to decide it's done saving. There it is. Nice. Um, let's see. I think there's a way out up straight up this way. Yep. All 
I know we didn't get as much uh, stuff as we could have. So it's, what, 500 meters away? No, 600. Nope, 400. There we go. Couldn't see through the uh, rock. All right, head back as fast as possible. Charge up the uh, Seamoth and see about making that ultra high capacity because right now our max capacity is 135 and I think with the ultra high it's like 225 so 90 extra seconds of breathing slow down and get up under this to park the uh, Seamoth oops clang Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, so the modification station should have us a new tank. Yep, so the ultra high just needs the one we have and four lithium. I think. I think I read that right. Do we have the lithium? Nope, we put the lithium in the uh, SEMA so we can grab some out of here. I think that was right. I hope that was right. I might have looked at the uh, other one. Let's see, make sure. Yep. Okay, so get out of that. Pull this off our back. So that one takes up uh, three by three. Almost the same as the uh, Sea Glide. No, it's a 2x3. I wonder if the um, this one, the uh, lightweight tank, is uh, a 1x2 or something. Have fun. Enjoy. I will hopefully see you there. I will be playing uh, Ratchet and Clank. Thanks for being here. I'll be done after this. I just really wanted to build that. So, yep, it did give us 225. So we'll save that again. I will uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, as you, as we have decided, we'll be playing Ratchet and Clank after this. Be about a 10 minute break. So I hope to see you there. Thanks again, and I'll see you in a little bit.